start the program with the procession of members and fellows. Shall we rise for the program to start? I will remain standing while the council members, minister, and the guest speaker process into the chamber.
Sheikh General Assassinate. Let us pray. We thank you, our most heavenly Father, for the gift of life. We thank you for all you've been doing for us and for this college for the past one year. We thank you for gathering us for this induction ceremony. We pray, O oh God, and we humbly ask for your presence to be preeminent here to superintend over today's proceedings and activities. Without you, we cannot do anything. Hence, we submit ourselves to your care. Lead us for a successful program. These and many blessings we ask through Christ Jesus, who alone is our Lord. Amen. Shall we remain standing? Open to page 12 of our brochure and we'll take a song of praise and prayer.
up our seats. We start off our program by inviting the Vice Rector, Dr. Henry Lawson, to introduce the Sema of Council. Please welcome me to do this work. Hello? Please welcome me to do this assignment. Uh, thank you very much. Our council chair was born in Kumasi and was educated at, at the Sado College. He proceeded to the University of Ghana Medical School and was one of the pioneer set of medical students to graduate. He then traveled to the United Kingdom to complete his postgraduate training in anesthesia. He holds a fellowship at the Royal College of Anesthetists, a diploma in acupuncture from Tianxiu College in China, fellowship of the West African College of Surgeons, and a foundation fellowship of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. His academic career spans the University of Ghana Medical School, King Faisal University, Saudi Arabia, and Uppsala Teaching Hostel in Sweden. He's held many positions, past president of the Ghana Medical Association, past president of the Ghana Anesthesia Society, a member of the Council of Ghana Civil Service, a member of the Ghana Population Council, a member of the Council of Ghana AIDS Commission, and the immediate past chairman of the board of the National Health Insurance Authority. Under the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, he was instrumental in advocating for the setting up of the Ghana Postgraduate Medical College, now the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. He was the founding chairman of the Faculty of Anesthesia, and he has served on the council of the college. In recognition of his various contributions, he was given a meritorious award for his outstanding achievements in postgraduate medical education at the 10th anniversary AGSM of the college in December 2013. Currently, he's a fellow of the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences. He's a member of the Interministerial Task Force on COVID-19. He's a member of the Presidential Technical Coordinating Team on COVID-19. He's a part-time lecturer at the University of Ghana Medical School. He's a consultant anesthetist at Focus Hospital where he runs a pain management clinic. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Professor Yao Edujin. by the authority vested in me as chairman of council of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, declare this assembly open for the purpose of admission of fellows and members to the College of Physicians and Surgeons. We will now welcome Dr. John Nkuma Mills to give us his welcome address. Chairman of Council, Professor Yao Ejidemfi, expecting a guest of honor. Not here yet. We are still expecting him. We are expecting also the Honorable Minister of Health. He's also not here. 
Our college lecturer is Professor Irene Kua Ijapon. Nime, Name, representatives of sister colleges, distinguished invited guests, members of the press, dear colleagues of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. It is my special privilege to welcome you all to the opening and induction ceremony of this, the 18th Annual General and Scientific Meeting of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. Today's ceremony is historic, and you are making history in that, for the first time, the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons is holding the annual ceremony according to its constituent divisions. This afternoon's function is for the Division of Surgeons. That for the Division of Physicians was held in the morning. I first of all we wish to have blog the visionaries and personalities who are involved in the planning and implementation of the program for setting up the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. For the very well-crafted college plan with a remarkable inbuilt resilience. The COVID-19 pandemic hit the college just like any part of the country's system, but the college did not shut down. It succeeded to function at a different level. An example being when faced with the possibility of cancelling our March exams in 2020 on account of travel restrictions, the ICT unit was able to zoom the section of the practical examinations where external examiners from as far away as Ethiopia, the United States of America, as well as others, were able to satisfactorily participate in and endorse the standard of the examination by electronic media when it had never been done before. Following this, the college administrative and educational activity, including examinations, are being offered more and more in the digital format, finances permitting. This is because the infrastructure had been strategically planned right at the formation of the college. We are building back better, of course. And this was achieved under the college management team led by the rector and the vice rector, deploying the college strategic plan. The Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons continues to enjoy the collaboration and cooperation of the training centers and sites, the various hospitals and facilities involved in our training program. We appreciate them all, along with our trainers and faculty officers for the excellence of delivery that we have come to expect of them. Additionally, we have benefited from the support of the College Endowment Fund, managed by great spirited individuals within the country, especially during times when the going gets tough. Of course, the government of Ghana and the Ministry of Health have been our main sponsors, and we appreciate it. It comes to us all, human a number of health personnel have passed into glory this year, some being casualties of the pandemic. However, for a painful three-week period last month, three pillars of medical education and training in the country have passed on to glory. They are Dr. A. D. Bohene, a pediatrician, Professor K. G. Corsa, an orthopedic surgeon, and Emeritus Professor Emmanuel a champion, who from the onset of the college had been a trainer, an examiner, and an internal assessor, assessor for surgery. These people have all served the country well and impacted the life of a good number of health professionals. Their funerals are yet to be held, and we shall duly pay our respect. May we please rise and observe a minute's silence in honor of these gallant colleagues and medical icons. May their souls rest in peace. 
Thank you. You may continue. The college, following its strategic plan, continues with more facilities being accredited as training centers and sites. Once the infrastructure and personnel satisfy the required standards uh, are in place, we may need to add advocacy to our efforts to ensure more facilities meet the required standards and also that equipment for the highly trained consultant eligible senior specialists that we trained are in place for them to deliver service to the population. Quality assurance in the training process and examination is key to the college. The academic board, after serious deliberations, took the heavy decision that as a consequence of both trainees and trainers being mobilized in the effort to contain the pandemic, training had not been quite up to standard. The result is that the board declared that no candidate qualified to take the September 2020 examination, despite the fact that they had indeed done a good job for the country. Training continued and examinations were conducted in March this year. And this has contributed to the increase in the number of graduates being inducted as members and fellows of the college today. This has also shown up the need for the college to have dedicated personnel and set up to ensure quality management as we expand the training. The college needs to travel far and fast, and this is when we need friends, support, and advice. The college has a new rector, and he will soon give an account of how far we have already traveled, and I'm sure you will appreciate the achievement over the period. Our sector minister, when he comes to be with us, I'm sure will advise us as we endeavor to fit into the expanded national aspiration of equitable universal health coverage for the country. A nice, interesting problem we in the college envisage is that we may soon not have enough doctors to apply for the specialist training positions that we are creating because the numbers produced annually by the medical school will not be sufficient. Ladies and gentlemen, you will soon witness the highlights of this occasion, the unique and sacred ceremony of admission of new members and fellows into the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, and they are making their solemn pledges to the college and to humanity. The world has been ushered into a new era with the COVID-19 pandemic. Our college lecturer this year, Professor Irene Okua Japon, an accomplished and internationally acknowledged public health practitioner, speaks on the topic, impact of COVID-19 on the healthcare and medical training in Ghana. Lessons learned and the way forward. Tomorrow, Thursday, 9th December at 10 a.m. And we invite you all to participate either in person or online. Mr. Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to this memorable function of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, and thank you very much for coming. Thank you. At this point, we will now take fraternal messages from sister colleges. We start off with the Ghana College of Nurses and Midwives. I bring you warm greetings from the West African College of Surgeons on the occasion of the 18th AGSM of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. The theme of the conference, the impact of COVID-19 on healthcare and medical training is most appropriate considering the impact this pandemic has had on the healthcare infrastructure in this country. We have lost trainers and trainees. We have not been able to deliver our examinations and our activities on time, and meaning that we have not been able to meet the numbers of specialists that we're supposed to produce in the past period that the COVID has 
uh, impacted on us. Now, what are some of the lessons? Well, we have learned positively that technology can be harnessed to improve the way we do things. And I will encourage us to embrace technology more in the degree of academic content as well as in the conduct of our affairs. Because through this, we can let training be decentralized so that it's accessed by more people throughout the country. Uh, going forward, we have to look at the age at which we admit trainees into our training. We should reduce this and recruit younger trainees and uh, who will train for a shorter period of time so they're available to serve the country uh, longer. We should improve the quality of our training uh, and this can be aided a lot also by technology. Finally, I would like to say that our trainees must have confidence in the fellowship and membership qualifications that we award them. These are the high standard and, and they stand uh, equal to any other qualifications that are there out there and they shouldn't feel any, any inferior. Uh, I wish you fruitful deliberations throughout this conference and we look we, we want to continue to engage with you and hold further discussions on how we can improve uh, medical training in our subregion. Thank you. Chair, permit me to stand on already established protocols. I bring you greetings from the President and Academic Board of the Ghana College of Pharmacists, fellows, members, and on my own behalf. Our two colleges have together with the College of Nurses and Midwives been collaborating on various levels. We continually explore opportunities to improve training and capacity building for the benefit of the healthcare professional, the Ghanaian resident, and the population as a whole. It is with great pleasure that I join you at your annual general and scientific meeting under the theme, Improving Access to Healthcare Systems in the New Normal, Embracing Technology. This theme is apt and seeks to respond to issues that have been thrown up as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. It brings to the fore the need to respond to other health needs as we tackle the pandemic and the challenges with seeking health care as community members try to respond to the restrictions and fears brought on by the pandemic. It is thus very important that you seek to discuss these pertinent matters at this very important gathering. As you deliberate on these matters, I know you will come up with feasible, practicable ideas on how to effectively embrace technology in our quest to improve access to healthcare systems. And we stand in readiness to collaborate on these matters and pursue ways of incorporating these ideas into the training of specialist healthcare professionals. I wish you all the best during your meeting. Long live the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. Long live postgraduate health training in Ghana. Long live Ghana. Thank you. President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me to stand on the prevailing protocol. I bring you fraternal greetings on behalf of the council, officers, fellows, and members of the Liberia College of Physicians and Surgeons during the occasion of the 18th General and Scientific Meeting of your college being held in Accra, Ghana. We at the Liberia College of Physicians and Surgeons are eternally grateful for the pivotal role played by the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons during the developmental phase of our college. Your college has continued to collaborate with us in the context of improvement in postgraduate training and in improvement of health care in our sub-region. I recall with immense pleasure the visit of your president to Liberia during our third annual general and scientific meeting two years ago and our visit to Ghana during your 16th annual general and scientific meeting. 
Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic which is unfolding, these reciprocal visits are not possible. Permit me to wholeheartedly congratulate you on the theme you have chosen for this year's meeting, the impact of COVID-19 on healthcare and medical training in Ghana, lessons learned and the way forward. This theme is extremely relevant and topical as COVID-19 has spread its tentacles throughout the length and breadth of our one world and may continue to impact our lives in numerous ways in some time to come. As we continue to face the challenges of today and prepare for the challenges of tomorrow, let us continue to collaborate. Let us continue to share ideas and work together towards achieving the common goal of improvement in healthcare delivery in our sub-region. I wish you success in your deliberations and I thank you very much. National Postgraduate Medical College of Nigeria. The College of Medicine, South Africa. We now have strong ministration from the past minister.
due to unforeseen circumstances, our guest speaker may have to leave earlier than expected. So he will present his speech, and after that, the lecture will address us. So we invite Professor Peter Donko. Chairman of Council, President of the College, Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, Rector, Vice Rector, Vice President of the College, fellow members, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a great honor for me to stand here as the guest speaker on this occasion. The theme this conference has been fairly as well addressed by the President and other speakers vis-a-vis -vis the impact of COVID on the health manpower, healthcare in Ghana. I would say that the important thing that we should think of is the role that we as medical students have to play in this challenge that we face. We are expected provide the needed health leadership, should find means of working closely with other health professionals, uh, nursing, medical laboratory technologies, and limit some of the infightings that we see where the ugly head stands. We, you as fellows, are going to come out there and be appointed to various leadership positions. And as a leader, have to understand that, first of all, you're a servant, and you must have a following. Be so that the followers understand what the goal of the health care delivery system which you find yourself is all about. You have to keep yourself up for continuous learning, build your personal capacity as an individual, and make learning a lifelong you have continually have to set excellence in yourself and instead of competing with others, compete with yourself. In fact, the best way to bring uh, the best in yourself out is by telling yourself, well, have I done well enough? Could I have done better? Instead of looking at the, ne the person next to you and say, oh, I have to beat that person to do better. Compete only with yourself. You must learn from others and collaborate with them so that you can bring the best in you. You know, uh, if you look at the healthcare situation, situation in Ghana, one thing becomes very obvious. Most specialists are in the major cities. Staff, nurses, medicine, uh, those places. Now, you are the college wants to reach out the whole country and offer training to those who are interested in training. So we need you fellows to be willing to accept coaching to distant locations so that trainees can be sent to you. So do accept uh, coaching to distant sites instead of insisting on staying only in commercial Think carefully about that. Now, at this point, let me say a big congratulations to all of you for the sacrifices you've endured to come in this part. We all know the suffering you've gone through, uh, the late nights, the, uh, the lies you had to tell your children, just to escape an appointment or a date with all in the name of trying to become members and fellows. You sacrifice a lot, your families have sacrificed a lot. You deserve to be congratulated, so do your family. I wish that you continue to celebrate with them, encourage them with you throughout your professional career. May God be with you to proceed in your career, continually share his blessing on you. 
Will you be a success? Will you remain committed to Ghana? Make Ghana the place that you've always desired it to be. Thank you very much. And I wish you the best that you wish yourself. Are you cool? Take the request address, Professor Richard MP. Good afternoon, everyone. Before, before I start my address, since I'm Professor Peter Donko will not be around at the end, I want to give the vote of thanks for him. So, so um, we we actually had an invited guest speaker who just got us a message that something major has happened and he wouldn't be able to appear. And Peter Donko and I, Professor Peter Donko and I go back many years. So I sent him a message whilst we were here that you've got to save my save, save my blip this this time. And he came up and did it. Peter, thank you very much. <laughs> Chairman of the Council of Ghana College of Surgeons, Physicians and Surgeons, Professor Yawadu GMP, members of the College Council, President of Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, Dr. John Nkrumah Mills, Vice Presidents of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, Dr. Audrey Forson and Professor Sam Deborah, Vice Rector, Dr. Henry Lawson, Professor Peter Donko, our, our, our guest of honor, faculty chairs and secretaries, other officers of the college, past presidents and past rectors of the college, representatives of sister colleges who are present, invited guests, graduating doctors, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the management of Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, I would also like to welcome you all to our 18th Annual General and Scientific Meeting, and specifically to this ceremony for the admission of newly qualified members and fellows. This year, as you have heard earlier, we are admitting the highest number of members and fellows in a single year. In addition to 25 new fellows who have been admitted by election because their peers in the college have recognized their significant contribution to training and practice, we are also admitting 37 new fellows and 355 new members. These numbers tell us how far our college has come in postgraduate medical education. And it goes without saying that we would not have come this far without the efforts of the past leadership of the college. I would therefore like us all to appreciate the immense contribution made by the past rectors, past college presidents, and past officers of the college in getting us this far. Let's show appreciation by giving these people a round of applause. We should actually give the applause that was being given, like we'd like it to be given for us when and we are, we are told to be, to be appreciated. So let, let's, let's give them a, a round of applause from our hearts. Right, right. Thank you very much for that. I would also like us to appreciate what all our trainers continue to do to ensure that we turn out high quality members and fellows. I'd like you to go on record that our trainers work very hard and in a, in a sacrificial way to achieve these goals. And we'd like to assure all our trainers that their contribution is greatly valued. So let's show some appreciation for our trainers. I took up the position of rector of our college in February of this year. From the time of my appointment, when my appointment was announced, and all through the months I've been in office, I've received many messages of encouragement and invaluable support from administrative staff as well as fellows and members of the college, the discharge of my responsibilities. This support is greatly appreciated, and I would like to encourage you all to keep on sharing your ideas about how to raise our college to higher heights. These ideas always help me get a clearer picture of what we need to do. This year, Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, like many other organizations in the world, has been involved in reorganization to overcome the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. We have continued to have all our continuous professional development activities virtually, and have also held a number of hybrid meetings. 
we continue to enforce all the COVID-19 protocols on our premises. One effect of this reorganization is the fact that we are having two ceremonies for the admission of new fellows and members this year. This became necessary because of the number of people graduating and to make allowance for a limited number of guests and college officers. We had one ceremony in the morning for a division of physicians and are now having this one for the division of surgeons. One idea is that going forward, if we continue to need to have two ceremonies, in the spirit of being a college of physicians and surgeons, we will work to have graduates from both divisions in the two ceremonies so that uh, we'll have all our colors present in each ceremony. We successfully held our membership and fellowship examinations in March and September of this year. This time around, the examination for the, for the divisions of physicians and that for the division of surgeons were held in separate weeks. And majority of our external examiners joined the examinations virtually because of the existence of travel restrictions. We were also able to hold our primary examinations by means of computer-based testing, and this went very well. We used the facilities of West African Examinations Council for this computer-based testing. I am pleased to announce that we intend to set up our own computer-based testing center at the college, and work is currently far advanced to ensure that next year's computer-based testing examinations will be conducted from our own center. This has been made possible by the tireless efforts of our Vice Rector, Dr. Henry Lawson, and our ICT department and our administration department. So I'd like you to show them some appreciation for the great work that they've done. Our exams this year had a pass rate of 72% at the primary level, 86% at the membership level, and 75% at the fellowship level. With the admission of our new fellows and members, our college has produced almost 1,500 specialists since 2007. This is um, a major achievement. However, the sad news related to our training efforts is that less than 200 of these, out of these 1,500 that we've trained have gone on to enroll in our fellowship training programs to become consultant eligible senior specialists. We have looked at some of the reasons related to this gap and are working with the Ministry of Health to come out with policies that would help to overcome the obstacles. We expect to come out with an announcement about these policy changes within the next few months. So to those who are, who are being admitted as new members today, I'm appealing to you, like I did when we met, when we met um, earlier on, so now I'm appealing to you in public, in the face of your family and everybody, that um, we would like a large number of you to enroll in the fellowship training program so that we can swell up the number of trainers and increase postgraduate training all over the country. Contemporary changes in the academic terrain have led to increasing demands to make it possible for our trainees who wish to have additional qualifications such as master and PhD degrees to be able to pursue this during our membership and fellowship training. Consideration of these demands led our council to set up a committee to explore these possibilities and it is my pleasure to inform you that we have had favorable discussions with a number of universities in the country, and I've also signed a memorandum of understanding with Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology to establish joint fellowship PhD programs and joint membership MPhil programs for trainees who wish to pursue such programs. In order to ensure that our curriculum meets the global standards for such programs, we have started a curriculum review process. We intend for this process to result in detailed curricula for each of our faculties that would highlight the academic, clinical, and research aspects of our training. We have continued to work on the electronic logbook, the EPORT, which would be used for tracking the training activities of residents, as well as for part of their continuous assessment. The software developer has been able to work on feedback received from the college administration to produce a working version of the software. A successful demonstration was conducted for, the, for a cross-section of our trainers last month. We plan to run a pilot test of the software early next year 
and then roll it out completely after making any needed changes that come out of the pilot. With the assistance of the Policy Planning, Monitoring and Evaluation Division of the Ministry of Health, we were able to get into partnership with the UK Tropical Health Education Trust through the UK Aid Office of the British High Commission in Accra. This partnership, this partnership has led to ongoing collaboration between three of our faculties and their counterparts from the UK Royal Colleges. The faculties involved are anesthesia, emergency medicine, and psychiatry. There are plans also to link the Faculty of Laboratory Medicine with their UK colleagues. These partnerships are currently addressing the review and delivery of our curricula with plans to establish trainer exchange programs and also secure attachment placements for our senior residents. We were able to hold a number of well-attended continuous professional development programs during the year. These CPD programs were all organized by individual faculties and run virtually. Our flagship CPD program, the Medical Knowledge Fiesta, was held in September in collaboration with Ghana Physicians and Surgeons Foundation USA. The Fiesta covered a broad range of subjects and involved all the different faculties of the college. In order to ensure the continued development of high quality assessment procedures, the college organized training workshops for all our faculties on the setting of multiple choice questions. These workshops were run by facilitators from the University of Cape Coast. Following up on this, we plan to establish annual residential meetings for the setting of multiple choice questions for all levels of training, which will help us set up a central question bank. This would also help support the new computer-based testing examinations. During the year, we have been able to hold all our academic board meetings virtually. The highlight of our decisions this year is the establishment of the Faculty of Trauma and Orthopedic Surgery. The elected officers for this new faculty will be announced at our business meeting on Friday. Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons has been actively involved in health policy dialogues during the year. We have participated in some technical meetings with the Ministry of Health and have also worked with the Medical and Dental Council and other medical training institutions to discuss potential administrative changes in undergraduate and postgraduate medical training in the country. We have continued to work together with the Ghana College of Pharmacists and the Ghana College of Nurses and Midwives to, dis to discuss common issues related to postgraduate health worker training. We have also maintained our relationship with West African College of Physicians, West African College of Surgeons, and other local postgraduate medical colleges in the sub-region. These relationships led us to successfully hosting a delegation from the Gambia on a study tour relating to their plans to set up a national postgraduate medical college. The Honorable Minister of Health has shown his commitment to postgraduate medical training by convening a stakeholder meeting to discuss policies governing postgraduate training with the aim of improving the turnout from our training programs. These discussions are in the final stages and should be a major boost to our training efforts once they are approved. In conclusion, this has been a busy but satisfy satisfying year, and this has been due to our collective efforts. I'd like to end by thanking the Honorable Minister and the Ministry of Health, our Governing Council, all our valued stakeholders and partners, members and fellows of the college, and the staff of the college administration for their continued contribution to such a successful year. Long live Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. Long live Ghana. Thank you. We will now take the address from the Minister of Health, Dr. Oinibat Ousu Danso, Chief Executive Officer of Okonechi Teaching Hospital, who will do this on behalf of the Minister.
Thank you very much, uh, Mr. MC. All too soon, I've gotten a second heart after coming to this ceremony. I came in as a council member during sworn in yesterday. And for the second heart, I wear as the chief executive of Safo from Farachi Teaching Hospital. I have the singular honor and privilege to read on behalf of the Honorable Kaku Ajmanai, Honorable Minister for Health, and the MP for the Mass Central. Chairman of the Council of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, members of Council, President of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, Vice President of the College, Director and Vice Rector, the guest of honor who has just left us, faculty chairs, other officers of the college, past presidents of the college, past rectors of the college, representatives of sister colleges here present, distinguished invited guests, graduating doctors, friends of the media, ladies and gentlemen. We have once again come to the end of another academic year of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. And we are happy to be here to witness the graduation of 392 doctors, which will result in 335 additional members of the college and 37 additional fellows. The Ministry of Health is extremely proud of the great work being done by the trainers and administrative staff of the College of Physicians and Surgeons to produce clinical specialists and consultant eligible senior specialists for Ghana and the sub-region. The Ministry of Health is aware of the high level of commitment shown by all trainers despite the challenging circumstances under which some of the training activities are carried out. I would therefore like to congratulate all the trainers and administrative staff whose untiring efforts have led us to being here today. During the year and the review, the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons has always been very well represented in the activities of the ministry, and the representatives have made major contributions to the ongoing health policy dialogues. One major step that the college has taken in conjunction with my office is to work on a policy document that will help to ensure that we are able to increase the rate of production of specialists and consultant eligible fellows for the country. The college has identified specialty areas where the turnout of specialists is low compared to others, and we are working to put measures in place that will help produce more specialists in these fields while not neglecting the others. The good work being done by the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons has been recognized in international circles, and as a result, the Ministry of Health, together with the college, hosted a delegation from the Gambia to produce or to provide them with technical support in the establishment of their own local food medical college. The ministry is committed to supporting the college in all efforts to increase its visibility internationally, because all such efforts also serve to showcase the resourcefulness of Ghana as a country. The government of Ghana continues to be committed to providing a significant proportion of the financial support needed for training of specialists in the country. The government continues to provide a remuneration for administrative staff of the college, as well as the training fees for residents who meet the criteria for sponsorship. Due to the economic challenges associated with the COVID-19 pandemic, there has been some delay in the payment of the training fees for the past academic year. But I would like to assure you, all of you gathered here, that we are working hard to ensure that the needed funds are transferred to the college. I think we need to clap for that. <laughs> Mr. Rector, you get your money. We are all aware that despite the good work being done in postgraduate medical training, the number of specialists per population is lower than what the country needs in all phases of specialization. There are also several challenges associated with the relocation of doctors from the regions where they work to other regions 
for the period of their training. One reason behind these challenges is the fact that we do not have training centers in all the regions of the country. I am also well informed that there is the additional challenge of having the requisite number of college fellows in hospitals for these hospitals to be accredited as training centers. I would like to encourage the rector, the academic board, and council of the college to explore ways in which we can innovatively increase the number of training centers in the country with the eventual goal of having a major training center in each region of the country. The Minister of Health will provide all the needed support in this direction to ensure that this becomes a reality. The new members and fellows who are graduating today have put in a great deal of work and dealt with the challenges of relocation of other infrastructure and equipment related challenges in training. You are all here today because you have successfully handled these challenges and come out with flying colors. The Minister of Health congratulates you for this great achievement. We also recognize the support that has been provided by your family members and friends in making this day a reality. While we would like you to enjoy this moment to the fullest, it is important for you to realize that there are many people in the country who are looking up to you for specialized medical and surgical services. I am therefore calling on you all to provide the best services possible to all people who come under your care. It is important for you to make sure that you keep up with developments in your field of practice and provide the necessary technical advice to get our healthcare delivery services improved. I have talked about the need for an increase in the rate of production of specialists. And I would like all our new graduates to know that you are all part of the solution to the problem. All of you should aim to become trainers or postgraduate doctors, and so do everything that is required for you to be a certified trainer. You will then join forces with those who have trained you to turn out even more specialists for the country at large. We continue to battle the COVID-19 pandemic with all other countries in the world. And all our doctors here have been part of the team that have been working hard to ensure that we win the battle. I am very grateful for the efforts that we have all put into treatment and prevention of COVID-19 and its complications. We are, however, not yet out of the woods. And so I encourage you all to keep up the good work. Let us all continue to observe the COVID-19 protocols in our workplaces and all other gatherings that we take part in. Let us all ensure that we are fully vaccinated and educate other members of the public to also get vaccinated. Together, we will overcome the effects of this pandemic. Long live Ghana, colleagues of physicians and surgeons. Long live our nation, Ghana. I thank you for your attention. Take, we shall take another song ministration from the La Paz Community Choir.
approaching the climax of the program, and uh, we'll invite the Vice President, Division of Surgery, Professor Samuel Debra, to admit the newly qualified members. By the authority of council, I present to you these specialists who have undergone postgraduate residency training in various accredited institutions and have also passed the examinations prescribed by the respective faculty. May I please confer on them member of the Ghana College in the following special. Anesthesia, Dr. Terina Bathborne, Dr. Esme Serebo, Dr. Esther Nana Dede Aje. Dr. Pia Sewa Plenku, Dr. Koko Frankina Adebrose, Dr. Ufoku Bakun Tojo, Dr. Abna Ruwa Odani Beijo, Dr. Alfred Jacob Aji. In dental surgery, Dr. Eva Benis Apia Dentre, Dr. Wolfsrud Nanoye Dromo Korti, Dr. Samuel Omane Bodi, Dr. Isaac Beku Esiama. Dr. Ebenezer Elijah Asamoa, Dr. Kakra Lucy Apia, Dr. Rita Adoko Akwebi, Dr. Aram Ablan Kumasa, Dr. Edwin Ayute Kwamiai, Dr. Dennis Delacosi Apresse, Emergency Medicine, Dr. Fofie Dukele, Dr. Abba Kujiba York. Dr. John Goodwill Desibeni, Dr. Eric Smart Yeboa, Dr. Papa Kojo Umbro, then we have Dr. Amma Bodi Ebude, Dr. Sarah Abakwansa Osei Frimpong, Dr. Kwabna. Esimin Danso, Dr. Freda Menu Aji, Dr. Dennis Agala, and Dr. Raphael Esi.
by the authority vested in me as the president of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, I confer on you the membership of the college in your specialty with all the privileges and responsibilities. Congratulations. We'll now take the college pledge. So please say after me. I, and I mention your name. Upon my honor pledge to faithfully observe and obey the laws and regulations of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. I pledge to promote the highest ethical practice and professionalism. I pledge to constantly upgrade my knowledge and skill and pass these on to future generations through teaching of students and health professionals. I pledge to promote the general health of society through advocacy. Through this pledge, I promise to maintain and faithfully defend the honor, dignity, and good name of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. So help me God. So, so you process round this way. And when you sit down, you can put your hats on. Right, our numbers are increasing, so continuing the list. Faculty of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Dr. Jonathan Wildey Abbasi, Dr. Emmanuel Frank Abu, Dr. Matthias Kosi Abude, Dr. Eric Akom, Dr. Laurentia Sewa Ada, Dr. Edwin Adukwe, Dr. Edwina Afodofe, Dr. Edwin Enum, Dr. Elias Kofi Mitifafa Ata, Dr. Anthony Ayambiri. Dr. Akosi Opoku Bafo, Dr. Francis Sulebi Bakwari, Dr. Vincent Ajay Bene, Dr. John Kwamna Bosumche, Dr. Kwam, Kwame Esiedu Danso, Dr. 
and of men's uh, egg for me. Dr. Barbara Feng, Dr. Linda Jedu, Dr. Emmanuel Lawrence Hasford, Dr. Augustine Hene, Hene, Dr. Francisca Dakwamens, Dr. Kinsley Afre Ndro, Dr. Emmanuel Opoku Echampong, Dr. Richard Pinkra, Dr. Kwansen Fedi Rahman, Dr. Leslie Kojo Tay, Dr. Jacqueline Anita Sowa, Dr. David Sioflos Walawa, Dr. Solomon Yagmi. By the authority vested in me as the president of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, I confer on you the membership of the College in Obstetrics and Gynecology with all the privileges and responsibilities. Congratulations. So let's take the college pledge. So please say after me. I mention your name. Upon my honor, pledge to faithfully observe and obey the laws and regulations of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. I pledge to promote the highest ethical practice and professionalism. I pledge to constantly upgrade my knowledge and skill and pass these on to future generations through teaching of students and health professionals. I pledge to promote the general health of society through advocacy. Through this pledge, I promise to maintain and faithfully defend the honor, dignity, and good name of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. So help me God. Now come to those who graduated in September. For anesthesia, 
we have Dr. Alfred Jacob Edu. For dental surgery, we have Dr. Jonathan Kakari Benson, Dr. Larry Tommy, Dr. Clement Isaac Obeng, and Dr. Aman Tinkra Tinkron, Dr. Abna of Osihima in Sia, Abna Jemfua of Ori in Kansan, Shadrach Ousu, Bernard Oza, Bennett Edu, Naomi Arencio Adams Anderson, Dr. Johnny Randall AJ, Daniel Brefo, Dixon Afram, Jemima Menu Adabo, Mabel Azuma, Akosia Trimberima, Samuel Asare, Clement Ochida Kong, Christina Sewa Papon Inya Kong. We also have September Emergency Medicine, Dr. Ama Bodi Abude, Dr. Sarah Ab Abakansa Osef Mpong, Dr. Fabna Esmenda Nson, Dr. Frida Men Edi, Dr. Dennis Agala, Dr. Raphael Esim. Right, okay. So, Longer list, the next month will be dragging it. By the authority vested in me as the president of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, I confer on you the membership of the college in your specialties with all the privileges and responsibilities. Congratulations. So let's take the college pledge for this batch. I, upon my honor, pledge to faithfully observe and obey. I, I think you've got to say this. Otherwise, by the powers vested in me, I'll withdraw what the president said. So let's, let's start this again, and let's, let's say it with some vim. Eh? So I, upon my honor, pledge to faithfully observe and obey the laws and regulations of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. I pledge to promote the highest ethical practice and professionalism. I pledge to constantly upgrade my knowledge and skill and pass this on to future generations through teaching of students and health professionals. I pledge to promote the general health of society through advocacy. Through this pledge, I promise to maintain and faithfully defend the honor, dignity, and good name of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. So help me God.
continue. Faculty of Ophthalmology, Dr. Peter Forson Aka, Dr. Andrew Akafo, Dr. Daisy Asiama Asare, Dr. Mami Jesua Buenchi, Dr. Festus Wampong Kwachi, Dr. Gloria Jama Chairman, Dr. Kofa Lacey Lasse, sorry, Dr. Andrea Nene Nimako, Dr. Ni Aaron Oku Tete, Faculty of also Rhino Laryngology, Dr. Kofi Ajman, Dr. Daniel Jeu Enin, Dr. Derek Jima, Dr. Nana Ando Hansen, Dr. Evelyn Nyamiche, Dr. Martha Poku, Dr. Zach Obin Hine, Dr. Philip Kipra Opon, Dr. Kwesi Siale Wola Yo. And Faculty of Surgery and Subspecialties. Dr. Saiba Abdul Latif, Dr. Julius Abuku, Dr. Emmanuel Aqua, Dr. Gospel Agama, Dr. Joseph Amamo, sorry, Dr. Jude. Ama, Dr. Joshua Opon Ampedu, Dr. Paul Asiedu, Dr. Solomon Antindama, Dr. Alaji Alassan Baba, Dr. Clarence Abiariba Basugloyene, Dr. Jeffrey Ofori Binkran, Dr. Benedict Boachi, Dr. Gideon Dinkudela, Dr. Anthony Ishan, Dr. Edward Mania Kobila, Dr. Timothy Kopa, Dr. Richard Ankari, Dr. Narius Nalani. Dr. John Manankroma, Dr. Emmanuel Osofori, Dr. Emmanuel Kumisei, Dr. Ebenezer Osei Akuto, Dr. William Osei Sapon, Dr. Ebenezer Techi Aikins, Dr. Abraham Tando, Dr. Mark Tanzubil, Dr. Sandra Ayunam Chechu, Dr. David Kofi Chumesi, Dr. Mary, Mary Fusia Banahini Wood, and finally, Dr. Mark Ziga. By the authority vested in me as the president of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, I confer on you the membership of the college in your specialties with all the privileges and responsibilities thereto. 
Congratulations. Let, let, let's take the college pledge. Say after me, I, upon my honor, pledge to, pledge to faithfully observe and obey the laws and regulations of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. I pledge to promote the highest ethical practice and professionalism. I pledge to constantly upgrade my knowledge and skill and pass these on to future generations through teaching of students and health professionals. I pledge to promote the general health of society through advocacy. Through this pledge, I promise to maintain and faithfully defend the honor, dignity, and good name of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. So help me God. Right. Thank you. So, it's now the turn of those who passed in September, that is obstetrics and gynecology. We have Dr. Anita Barbara Abonsink, Dr. Osman Mohammed, Dr. Sebastian Nimiya, Dr. Catherine Rita. Senka, Dr. Frank Amega Kwajo, Dr. Solomon Ganda, Dr. Geraldine Maidri George, Dr. Richard Asamoah, Dr. Kalista Tegoreinhold, Dr. Samuel Etria Kranting, Dr. Stephen Kwachi and Song. Dr. Derek Amon, Dr. Ruth Naadole Aite Brim, Dr. Gildas Wara Mbamba, Dr. Felix Odai Asiedu, Dr. Samuel Apia Odro, Dr. Kwesi Ampimdakwa, Victoria Abungo, Aisha Alik Isaka, Apia Dentra, Kwame Elisa, 
Sarah Edujemfi, Fred Kwame Chinebua Kudua. Ronald Reagan Uforianami, Dennis Ejepon Marfo, Dr. Ejako Amponsandazi, Derek Kofi Asante, Eunice Wangere, Hadizat Agongo, Abedu Nana Esi Abedia. Isaac Kwabna Akoto Insia, Kwabna Opong, Manchaya Subeya Yakubu, Caesar Awomboro Ansen, and Bernard Ocho. by the authority vested in me as the president of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, I confer on you the membership of the college in your specialties with all the privileges and responsibilities. Congratulations. So let's see the college pledge. Say after me, I, upon my honor, pledge to faithfully observe and obey the laws and regulations of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. I pledge to promote the highest ethical practice and professionalism. I pledge to constantly upgrade my knowledge and skill. and pass this on to future generations through teaching of students and health professionals. I pledge to promote the general health of society through advocacy. Through this pledge, I promise to maintain and faithfully defend the honor, dignity, and good name of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. So help me God. Thank you. We come to the last group for the day. In surgery, we have Dr. Patrick Kwame Adika, Dr. Joseph Amamu, Dr. Jude Ama, Dr. Bismarck Apia Kubi. Dr. Emmanuel Jima Amankwa, Dr. Philip 
By the authority vested in me as the president of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, I confer on you the membership of the college in your specialties with all the privileges and responsibilities. Congratulations. Take the college pledge. The others were large in number, and they're speaking to softly. You've got to outdo them now. So let's let's hear your voices. So please say after me. I, upon my honour, pledge to faithfully observe and obey the laws and regulations of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. I pledge to promote the highest ethical practice and professionalism. I pledge to constantly upgrade my knowledge and skill and pass these on to future generations through teaching of students and health professionals. I pledge to promote the general health of society through advocacy. Through this pledge, I promise to maintain and faithfully defend the honor dignity, and good name of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. So help me God. Let's give them a big hand. They outdid all the others. Come on. So now let's give a big applause for all the members. Big one, big one. So now we move on to the admission of new fellows from the Division of um, Surgeons. Mr. College President, by the authority of the, of the Council, I present to you College President, the following, who possessing recognized postgraduate qualifications have, through professional competence, accomplishment, and research, and on the recommendation of the relevant faculties and the academic board, been elected for the award of the Fellow of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. So our newly elected fellows are the following. Faculty of Dental Surgery and Subspecialties, Dr. Fernando Miguel Amagua Akevedo. <laughs> Dr. Daniel Tometi. <laughs> Faculty of Obstetrics and Gynecology. Dr. John Jude Kweku Anan. <laughs> Dr. Shaletta Ann Ayes. Dr. Jerry Coleman. Dr. Isaac Coranting. 
Dr. Yao Oparilavi and Dr. Michael Yao Yabua. Faculty of Surgery and Subspecialties, Dr. Akizibadek Alex A. Afuku, Dr. Guzman Lambert, Professor German Azaharis Leal, Dr. Bernard Kofi Seshi, Now we go on to the fellows by examination. By the authority of the council, I present to you, college president, the following who have undergone re senior residency training in an accredited institution and have also passed the examinations prescribed by the respective faculties. You may please confer on them the award of fellow of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. Faculty of Anesthesia, Dr. Nana Fusua Japon. Dr. Moses Sian Frimpong. <laughs> Faculty of Dental Surgery and Subspecialties, Dr. Yawa Mankwa Boating. <laughs> Dr. Frederick Kojo Ahin. <laughs> Dr. Cecilia Kakraba Kwashi. Dr. Robert Ni Lami Lami. Dr. Victoria Afi Bachman. Dr. Frank Osei Bonsu. And Dr. Edward Edem Siale. Faculty of Emergency Medicine, Dr. Kwabna Intridonko. Dr. Kwame Ekremet. Faculty of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Dr. Samuel Yao Edu. Dr. Ni Okaikwe Amate. Dr. Seth Amponsa Tebi. Dr. Kweku Asao Koku. Dr. Anthony Kwamida. Dr. Frank Odami. and Dr. Henry Ekoyani. <laughs> Faculty of Ophthalmology, Dr. Doreen Amankwa Frimpong. <laughs> Dr. Raymond Tusefa. <laughs> Faculty of Surgery and Subspecialties, Dr. David Kaju. Kajuanite Koko. And Dr. Chenu S. Jalu. Mr. President. By the power, the authority vested in me as the president of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, I confer on you the fellowship of the college in your specialties with all the privileges and responsibilities. Congratulations.
So now we're going to take the college pledge. And you do it in a way that will make the members want to be fellows, won't you? OK, so let, let's go. I, upon my honor, pledge to faithfully observe, observe and obey the laws and regulations of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. I pledge to promote the highest ethical practice and professionalism. I pledge to constantly upgrade my knowledge and skill and pass these on to future generations through teaching of students and health professionals. I pledge to promote the general health of society through advocacy. Through this pledge, I promise to maintain and, faithful, and faithfully defend the honor, dignity, and good name of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. So help me God. Members, I want you to clap for them. This is what you're aspiring to be. Don't, don't, don't sit down and just watch them. Congratulations to all of you. All too soon, we are getting to the end of the program. We will now invite the uh, chairman of the council to give us his closing remarks. To close the ceremony. up for the fellows because they have become fellows. Now being a fellow and even the same, same pledge as the members and the fellows recite, but particularly to the fellows, we expect that in the next five years each of you will produce or replace themselves in whatever specialty. In other words, I expect that in the next five years you will have trained somebody probably to become technically as competent as you and has been taught the reasonable ethical behavior and joined on you in your pledge. That's the only way to grow all the specialties and the profession. I won't tell you how old I am, but I'm still teaching. Otherwise, I should be completely retired and put out of pasture. Having said that, I, Professor Yawadu Jemfi, by the authority vested in me as chairman of the Council of Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, declare this assembly closed. Congratulations.
now invite Dr. Ikuya Pachua Kunedu to give us the vote of that. The Chairman of the Council, members of the Council, the President of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, the Vice President of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, the Rector and the Vice Rector of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, past Rectors and past Presidents present, Division Presidents and Secretaries, invited guests, friends of the media, invited guests, friends of the media, ladies and gentlemen. I deem it an honor to be called to give the vote of thanks for such a beautiful occasion. First and foremost, we would like to thank God for such an occasion and for giving our members and our fellows the grace to graduate and be here. We we'll also want to thank the President for the Council, Professor Yao Edi, for opening the ceremony and for closing us. We we'll also want to thank the president of the college, Dr. Nkrumah Mills, for being here with us today, and also the vice president, Professor Samuel Debra, for being here with us. We we'll also want to give a good thanks to the rector of the college for making this occasion possible. We also want to thank the vice rector as well. We give thanks to the division presidents and the secretaries for training all these people for us so that we have a lot of members and fellows here today. We say thank you, we are very grateful. Our thanks also goes to all the members and fellows. It's your hard work that has given us the opportunity to be here. We say thank you, NIEPO, for giving us this opportunity and for going through the um, difficulties and the hard work that goes to, comes with it. We also want to say a big thank you to the families of the members and the fellows that are here. We say thank you for your support and your encouragement that you gave to the members through their journey for them to be able to graduate today. We say a equal thank you and God bless you. We also want to say a big thank you to the La Paz Community Choir for keeping some of us alert through the program and through all the speeches. We say thank you. We are very grateful. Our thanks also goes to the staff of the Ghana College and also the organizing committee for putting together such a beautiful program. We say thank you and God bless you. To the media for coming and for taking nice pictures and videos so that we will have memories of this occasion forever. We say thank you. To all the invited guests and everybody who in diverse ways have made this program a success, we say thank you and God bless you. To our MC for me, and steering this organ, um, program to an end, we say thank you. Thank you, Aiko, and God bless us all. Thank you. May I ask Dr. Martin Osubuama to give us final prayers? May I humbly request for us to be on our feet as we take the closing prayer. Let's pray. Almighty Father, we thank you so much for leading us through this ceremony to this point. Without you, we wouldn't have come to this point, and that's why we give you the praise for being present. We pray, O oh God, and we commit the college into your hands in the ensuing year. We pray for the leadership. We pray, Almighty God, that you will lead them by your grace, that many success will be achieved in the coming year. We pray for the staff that you be with them, preserve and protect them. We pray for the various residents in training that you should also you will also be with them and help them to acquire the necessary skills and the knowledge that they need. We pray, O oh God, and we commit our newly inducted members and fellows into your hands. As they step out, we pray 
that you will lead them, that they will work hard and contribute to positive outcomes in health in this country. We pray that you will bless their enterprises in the name of Jesus Christ. And now let us receive the benediction. Unto God's protection and mercy I commit all of you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord calls his face to stand upon you and be gracious unto you. Now the blessing of God Almighty, that of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come and abide with you. Be blessed today, be blessed tomorrow, and be blessed forever. Amen. Kindly take your seat. Only two announcements. Um, there shall be a group photograph immediately we exit. And all graduates should go to the restaurants to pick their snacks. Foya, may you give us a song so that we can receive you that, if you are ready? Shall we rise for the recession, please?